What's going on, Assassins? It's Dark Strider, and you know, every time I look at news that has to deal with Assassin's Creed Shadows, things just get stranger and stranger. So, I think it was sometime last week, I reported that somebody had started a petition against the petition against Shadows. Somebody actually started a petition to oppose the movement to cancel Ubisoft's new release, Assassin's Creed Shadows. And we know that that petition, the actual petition, has well over 80 some odd thousand signatures right now. Over 80,000 signatures. It's absolutely amazing how it's gaining steam. Again, I don't think it's going to move the needle. I haven't heard anything else from the uh, person who is uh, bringing it to like the, the Japanese Congress. But... We did have this one guy who actually started, on July 4th, a petition to stop that petition. So now, that guy only got like 596 supporters, and as of yesterday, it's shut down. He actually shut it down. Now, that's one of the reasons why I kept saying that, you know, you're more than welcome to go and check it out. But do not go and brigade that person. Don't go and, you know, it, it just attack him verbally or, you know, over the internet or anything like that. I, I think that's what happened. I think that's why he shut it down. I think he got way too much pushback. Uh, you know, he thought this was going to be a slam dunk. And uh, apparently, you know, like people just weren't having it. People weren't happy. And in all honesty... I mean, you can't blame them. First of all, you know, people thought it was silly, like I said, that you are angry at cancel culture. You begin your whole thing about how you dislike cancel culture, but you're going to cancel their cancellation, if that makes sense, if you follow me. It's wild. So the guy, I guess, he had to have been getting just repeatedly hammered. Every time I checked... I always check the comments just to see, like, what would happen. And, you know, like, it, it just blew my mind how many people were coming for this guy. I mean, there were people that were actually defending it. There were people that are saying, you know, like, if you don't like it, don't play it, which I've been saying. There are people that are saying, you know, uh, things about how it's fake offense, how there are... Americans who are actually signing this petition, which I've actually seen. Uh, you know, they, there's at least two who were speaking out. And they, I mean, they clearly are American they, they or Westerners. They don't look Japanese at all. Not even Asian, not even slightly Asian at all, in the least. Like, they're not even half and half or anything. It's, it's like absolutely crazy. But... Uh, you know, that petition obviously is gaining momentum. And like I said, they should have their voice, whether you like it or not. As I've been saying, I don't think it's going to move the needle. But at the same time, they should have a forum to speak on if they want to. They're, nobody should be trying to silence them at all. I don't care if you don't like it. But I guess, you know, like this was a lot of pressure on this person. And the person just, you know, they... they just didn't want to do it anymore you know i'm not going to say that they caved or they cracked or anything like that i don't know this person personally i don't know you know enough about him or i can't get a hold of him to ask him questions which i've been trying to ask but uh you know it, it is what it is at this point I, again i don't feel he should have attempted that uh the, i do feel like this is something where People are like really hammering it on onto him, uh, getting on his nerves. You know, like I, I don't. A lot of those comments were really, really wild. Like they weren't anything where you know, like they, they were calling him out or they were threatening him or anything. Uh, basically, they were just asking him if he was racist, if he believes in it, believes in the uh, revisionism that is uh, going on, and you know things like that. Uh, again, if you're going to debate this kind of thing, you really need to come with a good counter. 
uh, you know, the talking points. Like anybody who comes out with DEI or things like that, I always have a, a talking point against that. But if you're showing me actual evidence where they're offended and actual things, which there are a lot, there's a lot to talk about, uh, you know, it, you, you got to have a defense against that. Or if you don't have a defense, you're cooked. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you like and subscribe. It helps this channel out an awful lot. As always, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching. And until next time, take care, be good, stay safe, take care of each other. I'll see you all in the next one. Yeah, yeah.